computer, what the heck? Recording in progress. W-O-U-J 101.7 FM. More talk, less rock. Great to see everybody. This is our sound check. It's a sound check. It's a sound check. It's a sound check. I got a couple of thumbs up, so that's all good. Great to have you back with us, Pamela. And I uh, hope you're doing great. We're going to start out with Peggy Sue. I think what I'm going to do is... Change my view to speaker. Change my share screen to something you could actually see. Let's try that one. Oh, look at that. There's Peggy Sue right there. I'll be darned. That's supposed to not be everybody. That's supposed to be me. So let's do that. Let's make me a little bit bigger. So Songs of the Key of A. Um, often involve B minor 7, well, B minor, but every time you see, and forget this chord chart, every time you see B minor today, with your ring finger up there at the top of the fourth, you can always skip that and just put one finger over the second fret for B minor 7. And every time you see um, C sharp minor, that's really the fourth fret version of B minor with your ring finger thrown up at the top of the sixth fret. You're just going to bar the fourth fret. Just one finger. And we are going to, and I, I'm way ahead of where we need to be, but just to give you a preview, we're going to call those, because it's the second fret, I'm going to call that, instead of trying to say B minor 7, I'm going to call it out as 2. That's a 2. And instead of calling that C-sharp minor, I'm going to call that as a 4 when you're barring the 4th fret. That's a 4. So that would be 2 and 4. Just like that. Beautiful. Okay, now, let's talk about Peggy Sue for a second. Does 4 chords, 4 beats, ah, 4 chords. It is a 4 chord song. 4 beats. And 4 beats. And two beats, two beats, two, four beats, and four beats. Four beats, down, down, up, down, down, up, four beats. E7, a D, and an A, D, A, E7. If you look down the right hand side of the sheet, Almost the end of every second line is this A, E7 slash. And that's just down, up, down on A. And you got to come back up, so then you just switch to E7. Down, up, down, E7. Down, up, down, E7. Down, up, down, E7. So when you're doing it in rhythm, let's start from that A, like four chords in, two beats of A, D, down, up, down, E7, so it's kind of the cool guys or gals way to end a, end a phrase or end a line. And of course it goes, if you knew Peggy Sue, then two beats, two beats, I feel blue without Peggy. It is, um, I was going to say Elvis Costello, it is Buddy Holly, of course. And there's no reason why you can't have a twangy slide. Why, why would we throw away all of our slide practice just because it's a simple Buddy Holly song? My peg Sue, ooh, 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 ooh. Love you, gal. Love you, Peggy, two beats. Two beats, two beats, and up. And that's how that goes. The beauty of this song, 
I'm sure it's in A because I found it years ago before I knew anything about transposition and somebody had put it in A and I could sing it in A and it seemed like our group could play it in A. So I never even thought about doing something else with it. But the beauty of this song is that A is your one, B, C, D, D is your four, and then E7, B, C, D, E, E7 is your five. It's a one, four, five progression. So you can quickly transpose this into C, F, and G7. Into G, C, and D7. Into F, B flat, or G minor 7, and C7. So you can quickly transpose it into a key that fits your voice better. Or, you know, you may not like E7, you really like the idea of C, F, and G7. So, transpose it into C, F, and G7. So, then it'd be, if you knew, you can see why I don't like it so much because I gotta go way up in the register. If you knew, Peggy Sue, then you'll know why I feel blue without Peggy. You know, instant um, transcription. So, anyway, that's all we'll say about that. We don't need to go through all the different transcriptions. Um, two beats, two beats, four beats. We got that. It's almost all... Um, Just the three chords. Oh, there it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. The third section down that is in um, shaded, where it says Peggy Sue A, Peggy Sue A. So like eight beats of A with Peggy Sue, Peggy Sue. And you've got an F. So you got Peggy Sue, Peggy Sue. Pretty, 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 pretty. You can't believe that. Pretty, 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 pretty would fit in four beats, but it really does. Pretty, 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 Peggy Sue. Oh, Peggy, slide. My Peggy Sue beats, two beats, four beats. And I'm just doing down, down, up, down, down, up, and then a regular island strum. And I might do down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down. You know, I might switch my two beat drums and my four beat drums, but you can get through the whole thing just by doing down, down, up, down, down, up for your two beats and down, down, up, up, down for your four beats. So, who's got questions? Let's play Peggy Sue in the key of A. Nice and slow. Just keep everybody on the same track. Buddy Holly, of course, in his band, The Crickets, would play the super fast. You should listen to that on YouTube when you get a chance. See if you can play along. One, two, three, four. the whole thing. If you knew Peggy Sue, then you'll know I feel blue without Peggy. My Peggy Sue. Well, I love you, gal. I love you, Peggy Sue. I hit all the strings that time. Peggy Sue, Peggy Sue, oh, how my heart yearns for you, oh, Peggy, let's slide. My Peggy Sue, ooh, 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 I love you, gal, I love you, Peggy Sue. Nice. 
Peggy Sue, Peggy Sue, pretty, 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 pretty Peggy Sue, oh Peggy, my Peggy Sue, ooh, 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 ooh. I love you, gal. Need you, Peggy Sue. I love you, Peggy Sue, with a love so rare and true, oh, Peggy. My Peggy Sue, ooh, 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 ooh. Well, I love you, gal. I want you, Peggy Sue. Peggy Sue, Peggy Sue, pretty, 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 pretty Peggy Sue, oh Peggy, my Peggy Sue, ooh, 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 well I love you gal, I need you Peggy, well I love you gal, I want you Peggy, well I love you gal, I want you Peggy Sue. Peggy Sue, ah, pretty, 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 pretty Peggy Sue. There's Kathy. What's happening, Kathy? Everybody doing okay out there? Sound okay? All good. We're good. Two thumbs up from Minneapolis. It's all good. Well, what the heck? Let's just keep rolling. We got a busy schedule today. It's five songs, but we'll keep we'll keep rolling. Pop up, pop up, pop up. Let's do this. I don't know why that happens. Don't ask me. <laughs> drop, baby drop. This is an island song. And, uh, so, you know, you don't hear it here in the States. I never heard it before until I uh, started going to the islands and listening to different um, Hawaiian groups. But it's a Hawaiian pop song. And uh, there we go. That was a little bit bigger anyway. Don't want to cover up the lyrics. Boom. I'm going to shove that to the right. Boom. That's not bad. Here we go. So at the beginning, I was talking about A. No, I wasn't talking about A. I was talking about two, meaning bar the second fret. And or, aha, on this one, we go A, then to four, barring the fourth fret. That's pretty. Then back to two, barring the second fret. Yes, I know it shows it as a minor and not a minor seven and so that would mean you would throw your ring finger up there on the fourth fret top string but i'm just barring the fret because it sounds great second fret fourth fret go on that four two and back to your favorite e7 and so the progression over and over and over again so you're either going to love this progression or not like it at all is A, four, two, E7, and A, four. So if you've got dots on your third and fifth fret, you just have to put your finger between the dots. Two, and there you just have to be able to count to two. E7, and then it's just a little island strum. I'm going to go to that two first one of these times. I keep wanting to do that, but it's A4, A4, two, E7, 
seven I said eight My heart does a tango With every little move you make I love you like a mango Cause we can make it every day Want you to drop, baby, drop Baby, drop Got to drop all your love on me Drop, baby, drop Baby, drop Drop cause I'm hungry My nights would be so lonely Lonely If ever you should choose to go I'd live just like a zombie Zombie very little love to show I want you to drop Baby drop Baby drop Drop all your love on me Drop Baby drop Baby drop Drop cause I'm hungry Already you're tired of the progression I know, I can tell So try this Strum One, two, three Strum, one, two, three. Drop, baby, drop. Baby, drop. Got to drop all your love on me. Drop, baby, drop. Baby, drop. Drop, cause I'm hungry. Now, four. E7. What if that B minor, that C sharp minor, you just played for two beats? You're going to go from four down to two. What if you went four, three, two? Very Hawaiian. Very jazzy. How would you do that and make it make sense? So you got four beats on four, or the fourth fret, which just did two beats, down, down, up, and moved your finger to the third fret, down, down, up, and then picked up the four beats on the second fret. What would that sound like? That would sound like this. A, four, down, up, three, down, up, two, E7, I said A, four, down, up, three, down, up, two, go to E7, I said A. Now you can play that throughout the entire song, and you could do the um, strum, one, two, three, throughout the entire song, or you just pick places to do it, just because it's nice to break up that. Um, ryth rhythmic strum that would be like, you know, you'd go through that progression 87 times with the same strum. Kind of nice to break it up. So, anyway, here is the exciting departure in the lyrics where they work in uh, Frankie Valley in the Four Seasons. One, two, three, four. Who loves you, pretty baby? Who's gonna help you through the night? Who loves you, pretty mama? Who's always there to make it right? Who loves you? Love you, pretty baby. Who's gonna love you, mama? Baby, drop. My heart does the tango. Every little move you make I love you like a mango Cause we can make it every day I want you to drop, baby, drop, baby, drop Got to drop all your love on me Drop, baby, drop, baby, drop Drop cause I'm hungry, drop, 
baby drop, baby drop, drop all your love on me. Drop, baby drop, baby drop, drop cause I'm hungry, drop. Baby drop, baby drop. And that's all there is to that one. How's that? How'd your fours and your twos and your twos and your fours go? Good. There's a thumb up there. That's good. One person went really well for one person. That's great. We've reached out and we've helped one person with their twos and their fours. That's excellent. Well, let's continue with this two and four theme. This one is going to rock your boat. I keep wanting to click that. It's a big red button that says end, and I keep wanting to click that. And I think something bad would happen if I did that, so I don't think I better click that. So let's see what's going on here. Oh, what? A24. We just did that, except we did A42. Ha! And then it's D instead of instead of E7. So for a little while it'll be D, but then it's going to be 2. So for if anybody just popped in late, we're playing the 2s and the 4s. The 2s versus the 4s here. Fours are winning. There's a method to the madness, to the sheep, and I will reveal it momentarily. I suppose one thing I could do is this. I could get that a little bit bigger. That's, come on, you could do it. Come on, tiger. Oh, way to go. That's a way to go, yeah. Yeah, you can almost see me. Okay. So again, it's A, just four beats. Two, as in the second fret. Four, as in the fourth fret. So instead of shouting out B minor seven and C sharp minor, I'm just gonna do two, four, D. So it would be A, two, two, four, four, and then a D. Let's do that again. A, two, four, D. So that carries out through the first verse. Then the first chorus, you've got, at no time do my fingers leave my hands. We're going to do this real slow. We're going to build up to it. We got A, two, four, two, Two, four, two, A. Ah, do it again. A. Oh, Bob. What happened, Judy? On the intro, it has, um, when you go to the middle, it says D, A, and has two and four. Is yes. Two strums and four strums for A? No, 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 no. Hang in there. Go ahead and mute yourself if you would. So that two and that four for the entire sheet are replacing B minor seven and C sharp minor. So that's telling you play D, then A, then the second fret or two, then the fourth fret or four, and then D throughout the entire sheet. Thank two you. and four, two and four are a substitute shorthand for just bar the second fret yeah. and bar the fourth fret. Okay, thanks, okay? Bob. Sure, sure. All good, all good. Great question. So uh, there we were. So boys don't cry. First chorus, first shaded part. A two. Four, two, two, four, two, a. Let me 
me show you that on the on the uh, action cam. OUJ action cam. Let's see what we're doing here. I set it up, so I might as well use it. What the heck? Oh my God! Look at that. That's so close. Let's do this. Yeah, that's not too bad. Okay, so it's A, something like that. Except I play my A different than you do, but let's play it how most po folks play it. A, two, four, two, two, four, two, A. Okay, that makes sense? So in rhythm, it would be A, two, So it'd be because boys don't cry. Boys don't cry. Eek! Let's do that again, boys. Next verse, same as the first. I would break down at your feet, beg forgiveness, plead with you. We know all that stuff, so that's that's all good. And then boys don't cry repeats. And then the instrumental, we do the exact same thing. Do a two. section the next verse is all uh, single strums I would tell you that I loved you if I thought that you would stay but I know that it's no use you've already gone away and of course you know this is my own embellishment you could strum through that whole section it's just nice I think to change it up and E minor is not shown in your chord diagrams. Uh, misjudged your F sharp minor is your G7 form, just up one, up one string. So it's a G7, but everything moved up, all fingers up one string. So what is that? That's two, one, two open. Uh, what is that? E minor. Misjudged your limit Pushed you too far Took you for granted And for A, all you have to do is lift up your bottom finger on F sharp minor I thought that you needed me more So you're already astute, you know the four means fourth fret And then we come right back to the regular a, two, four, D. And that repeats, and then we do the boys don't cry, boys don't cry, boys don't cry, and then we go real slow at the end. And there might be a point where I do... Where I do a strum and a one, two, three on the picking, just to... Stop strumming so much. I might do that just for fun, but let's see what we got here. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to bring back the regular cam is what I'm trying to do. There it is. Okay. Three. Okay, who's got questions on 2242A? Two. 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 Four. Two. A. All right, you guys are styling. One, two, three, four. D. A. Two. Four. And another D. 
I would say I'm sorry if I thought that it would change your mind But I know that this time I've said too much and too unkind I try to laugh about it, cover it all up with lies. I try and laugh about it, hiding the tears in my eyes, because boys don't cry. Forgiveness, plead with you, but I know that it's too late. Now there's nothing I can do. I try to laugh about it, cover it all up with lies. I try to laugh about it, hiding the tears in my eyes because boy. Don't cry Don't cry in the key of A. That's the fun of the key of A, is that second fret, fourth fret, and being able to bounce around on that. Was somebody trying to say something or just kind of general? I just it's super fun. Thank you. You're so welcome. One of my favorite bop around songs. Yeah, I just love that. Yep. Bop, bop, bop. Keep you on your toes. That's what I'm here for. So let's see what we got going on here next. How are we doing on time? We're doing okay on time, actually. I can screw around a little bit. You know, as soon as I say that, then I lose track of time. and That's not good. Let's see. I think we're, uh, Nora Jones is coming up. Look at you, Nora. 
Yeah, we want to do something else with no. I think we want this one here. Do it. So I screwed up the Nora Jones. I spent all this time doing um, a remake of the Don't Know Why chord chart. And um, of course, it was perfect in my mind, but Amy Yukena had to email me and say, What is the what and what? And of course, I screwed something up. So this chart is the new, new. Newly revised, don't know why. And uh, let's see what we get. Yeah, we're okay there. We're okay there. We're okay there. And uh, I'll explain that all to you momentarily. Thus, killing all of the time that we've saved so far today by me chatting too much. But I'll explain it to you. Okay. So, A. We got A. A7. You're all over that. D, and then the first three strings on the first fret, not your D on the second fret, but on the first fret, in my mind, you're taking the D and you're making it flat. So to me, that's D flat, but it's not really D flat. It's a chord that doesn't have a name. And the name, when you type in the four notes, you know, this is uh, G sharp, C sharp, um, F, and your open A string. When you type those into Google and ask for an ukulele chord name, they say it's called C sharp slash G sharp. So instead of saying in the all the way down the sheet, saying D and then C slash C sharp slash G sharp, I just call it D flat. You just, wherever you see D flat, you have just played your D and you're just pulling your D back to the first fret. Okay, okay. So, then what do we got? Then we got a B minor seven, that's two, of course. But we might just call it B minor seven in this song. E7, which we've been playing this whole time. And then C sharp minor 7, which I think is uh, 4. Is that right? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Yeah. If this is B minor 7 on the second fret, on the third fret, it's C minor 7. And on the fourth fret, it's C sharp minor 7. So if you look at... Uh, the second, the skinny little um, shaded area, my heart is drenched in wine. In the middle of the page, it's A. Heart is B minor seven drenched, E seven. Then a D for an interlude. A, you'll be on my mind. D. And I'm gonna recommend that we do single strums on these three chords. D is a single strum. Four, and then we go up to the fourth fret. Eh, and back to two. Ver, so it's the same thing we've been doing the last two songs. Going to four, eh, ver. The way it's written out, you would play D as a full strum. And then you go down, down, up, down, down, up. But I think it works really well as a single strum. Forever. Okay, back to the top. You can play this as A A7. D as single strums. A B minor seven. D and A. So you could single strum this all the way through. Just get your timing right. Each of those would be two beats. You could do two beats, two beats on every chord. So you could do. So that seemed, that seemed pretty doable. Yeah. Wait until saw the sun 
Don't know why I didn't come. So that's real doable. And then the other way to play it is to think of these chords uh, sharing a strum. So down, down, up, and switching to the second chord in the pair on the up. So A, A7, D, D flat, a, B minor 7, D and A. So that's that's probably how I'm going to play it. I may do some down, up, down, up, and switch on the up. But that's, you know, at least three ways to um, get this through this song really, really uh, beautifully. Um, do, do, do. There was something we were going to do. My heart is drenched in wine. I think we're going to single, either single strum that or do a strum and um, three beats. Let me see what my notes say that I was going to try to share with you, if I remembered. I think I was just going to do... Uh, yeah, single strums through there. So let's do that. So when we get to My Heart is Drenched in Wine. Heart is drenched in wine and a D. But you'll be on my mind. Forever. Yeah, we'll do something like that. Okay. And that, of course, you can play play through, play four beats all the way through that. You don't need to single strum it. Play two beats, two beats, whatever you want to do. Okay. Who's got questions? Did I completely screw this up? Screw up your head? Mess with your head? Bob, stop messing with my head. It's super slow. Nora's on the piano. We're just backing her up with some rhythm. There we go. There we go. One, two, three, four. Slide back to the first. That's two. Wait until I saw the sun, don't know why I didn't come. Left you by the house of fun, don't know why I didn't come. I don't know why I didn't come. that I could fly away Instead of kneeling in the sand Catching teardrops in my hand Single strums, my heart is drenched in wine dear. But you'll be on my mind Forever Out across Endless sea I would die In ecstasy But I'll be A bag of bones Driving down The road alone My heart is Drenched in wine, but you be on my mind forever. Something has to make you run, 
Don't know why I didn't come I feel as empty as a drum Don't know why I didn't come I don't know why I didn't come I don't know why I didn't come Two, three, four Nora Jones in the house, ladies and gentlemen, the back of band. Thank you very much. Really well done. Nice. I think I mishit something. I can't remember what it was, but that's okay. We're okay. If I don't make a mistake, I'm even more perfect than I already am. So that's how that goes. I think we got one more song to do. Da, da, da. So we had this young lady. Whenever I start a story about we had this young lady, it's because um, it's going to end up with uh, there it is. come on you kids with and she never came back again because whenever the youngsters come and join us they really they want to do things that we're not really prepared to do and so we're not quite as exciting for the youngsters as we'd like to think we are. So that's how that goes. They come and they learn for a little bit and then they disappear. Let's play Blue Bayou. What the heck? Where is that? There it is. Okay. Very last chord, bottom of the page. A hammer, A. Hammer. A hammer. Take your A. You strum, you pull it a micromillimeter, a eh, quarter of an inch off of the strings. So your finger's in the same place, but just off the strings. Hit it and put them back down. So open strings, and then once you strum, a nice hard hammer. That's why they call it a hammer. So that's like, by you, by you. And so you end blue by you with, by you. Okay? I hope we can all agree on that. So it's either a really soft down, up, down, up. A chord and a dot is down, up, down, up. So that would be four of those on A. Four of those on E7 for those on A. Or this young lady, she joined us and she would do down, up, tap, down, up, tap, down, up, tap, down, up, tap. That's crazy. It's like trying to rub your belly and pat your head at the same time. So it'd be like this. E7. A. So I'm going to do that a little bit. I don't expect you to do that. It takes some practice. can kind of make you crazy. Um, but it'd be like, Feels so bad. Got a worried mind. I'm so lonesome all of the time. Since I left my baby behind. On blue by you. And then you could go right into saving nickels and do a four beat strum. Work until the sun don't shine. Looking forward to happier times. On blue by you. And then move into a strum and a one, two, three. That's kind of fun. Um, the, the chorus going back someday, and you could do down, up, down, up, of course, as I, st I think I started the conversation by saying you do down, up, down, going back someday, 
come what may to blue by you where you sleep all day catfish play on blue by you now this part we have a major seven that is your first two strings on your first fret great chord and I don't want it to be lost in your strumming. So we're gonna, every time, and this happens twice, if you look down the left-hand side of the sheet, you'll see a major seven, like three lines from the bottom. We're gonna single strum that line. All those fishing boats with their, all you have to do is pick up one finger and you've got your A7. Sails afloat, if I could only, if you've got a, uh, yeah, you can't do that. I could only see. So those are four nice chords to single strum. That familiar sunrise through sleepy eyes. How happy I'd be. And I might, you know, I might, the instrumental interlude, I might single strum and do. That's just a strum and one, two, three. First string, second string, third string. But we've got that A major seven in the instrumental interlude, and I don't want you to lose that, so let's see. Yeah, that's okay. pick up the strum right there nice and soft anyway something like that you can create your own adventure it's the last song of the session and uh, just have fun with it of course I have this in G uh, for anybody who wants it and um, you know I think a lot of groups probably play it in C as well um, uh, but for some reason this um, it seemed to work well in A B minor, the last line. You got B minor, so that's two. Never be blue. Spread them for E7. Dreams come true on two. D minor by you. With the hammer. That's what's happening there. Any questions? I'm kind of rambling, kind of giddy with the whole bayou, bayou heat, with the pyros floating by, and the moss hanging from the cypress trees, water moccasins. What a great place. Anyway, okay, shut up. Let's do this. What was I going to do? Down, up, slap. One, two. Three, four. I feel so bad, got a worried mind. I'm so lonesome all of the time. Since I left my baby behind on Blue Bayou Saving nickels, saving dimes Working till the sun don't shine Looking forward to happier times On Blue Bayou I'm going back someday Come what may to blue by you where you sleep all day the catfish play on blue by you all those fishing boats with their sails afloat if I could only see that familiar sunrise through sleepy eyes
how happy I'd be. Oh, to see my baby again And to be with some of my friends Maybe I'd be happy then I'm new by you Going back someday Gonna stay I'm blue by you Where the folks are fine the world is mine, I'm blue by you, single strums, oh that girl of mine, by my side, silver moon, the evening tide, some sweet day, gonna take away, this hurting inside, B minor coming, I'll never be blue. My dreams come true on blue by you. Oh, the hammer, the by you hammer. Everybody's favorite. How are we all doing out there? Let's play 10 more songs. This is too much fun. Too much fun. Bob, Bob, quick question. Are you playing a low G or high G? High G. Okay, me too, but it doesn't sound like yours. But that's okay. That's all right. Where Where do you think we departed? I don't know. I just sometimes when I hear high, it seems like you're playing no, low, and I wonder if I'm doing anything wrong, but I'm probably just not hearing everything at once and concentrating, you know. I'll send my people out to check on you, but I think you're doing okay. Okay, thank you. Right on. Right on. Everybody good? Questions? All good? Good, good. Great to see you, Glenn. Susan, nice to have you with us. Thanks, Bob. Uh, Somebody else popped in, I know. Oh, Cindy did. Hey, Cindy, nice to see you. So I think that's it. If nobody's got questions, I'm going to shut down the recording and uh, go go trim some dead plants, I think. Thanks, Bob. Great to see you all. Adios, Bob. Thank great you, day Bob. out there. That was just a great lesson, Bob. Thanks. It's uh, wonderful. Oh. I'm doing A. Thanks Thank, a lot, Bob. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Jane. Thanks, Ken. Yeah. There's the recording. Doot.